Okay, so uh, for today we will discuss uh, your quiz uh, 7A, B and C. And then uh, maybe I will brief to you about your project part two. And then uh, uh, hopefully that's it for today, okay? So we will start new lecture on uh, this Wednesday. And uh, I already sent to you in WhatsApp group uh, some question that um, uh, some exercise for your midterm test may be useful, maybe not, but I think not useful. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will um, I will tell you also about the midterm what uh, topic uh, that uh, that will be coming uh, next week. Okay. So uh, for midterm, so for midterm there will be uh, two questions. Okay, so before that, uh, it will be on uh, Thursday, Thursday, Bapak Ibulan. Thursday 10, okay. 8 p.m. until 11 p.m. And there will be two questions. So question one, I think about a uh, basic control system. And um, if I'm not scared, it will be about reduction block diagram. So, Datuk Ketari ke? Minggu depan kan? Hari Kamis, kan? Oh, okay. Tiga bulan silap. Tiga bulan. Okay, minggu depan. Okay, next week. Uh, week, uh, week seven. And then uh, <clears throat> basic control system and reduction block diagram. And then question number two will be about um, uh, transformation uh, for translational mechanics. Plus, um, Apa kategori benda ni? Hmm. Uh, macam I would say uh, um, Some General knowledge means question General knowledge like uh, uh, Contohnya dia kata Dia bagi robot ke macam mana nak control robot macam tu kot I ingat dah soalan dia. Okay, some uh, general knowledge uh, that requires your um, kena fikir sikit ke, kena google ke, macam tu lah. Okay, so your test will be uh, 20%. So two question, I think uh, each question 25 marks. <coughs> so total 50, 50 marks then will be converted to 20%. Okay, so that's for your midterm. Okay, now uh, I will brief to you about your project.
Okay, so uh, for project, uh, when you do uh, question uh, part one, <coughs> question number two, so you are using <coughs> uh, transfer function, okay? So in question one, you are using uh, simulink to create the block diagram and then obtain the output from a, a step input. But for question two, instead of uh, using the block diagram, you are using a uh, transfer function, okay? Meaning that you input the equation of the transfer function into the uh, simulink and you will get the same result with question one. So for part two, basically for part two, you are given uh, a case and you are required to derive uh, from the cases given uh, in uh, WhatsApp just now. And then after you derive, uh, you need to define, uh, maybe you need to uh, then follow the question given here, okay? Draw the free body diagram, and then use Laplace transform, and then implement in Simulink. Basically you run part one, but for, uh, for this part two, Basically, you are using a uh, transfer function only. So you use uh, this example from question number two. Okay, so when you derive the transfer function and answer the question given in uh, project part two, you need to uh, run the code using uh, simulating uh, part one, question number two, okay? So for this, uh, Part two, uh, the due date is week eight. So the week after our test, okay? So any question before we uh, go to discussing your uh, quiz seven? <clears throat> Okay, so if you have no question, then <coughs> let's uh, go to uh, quiz seven, okay? Okay, so quiz seven A. So before we go uh, to uh, answering this question, uh, let me revise to you the rules uh, for uh, reduction block diagram. <clears throat> so the rules, the rules of thumb uh, as given in the slide, there are six uh, steps to follow. First, you need to check for any series connection. If there is no series connection or cascade connection, then you need to check for parallel connection. If there is no parallel connection, then you need to check for feedback, feedback loop. <coughs> if none of these are there, then you need to start uh, thinking about shifting the peak off point first, okay? Peak off point to the right. After that, uh, if you cannot shift the peak off point, then try shift the summing junction to the left. So after, uh, after all this, then you need to repeat the process until you simplify the block diagram, okay? So for block diagram, uh, reduction of block diagram, usually students, uh, they, uh, they don't follow the rules, okay? What they did, basically they uh, maybe shift uh, pick off point to the left or some injunction to the right you can you can do that but uh it makes the it will make the uh block diagram more complicated okay so this is the general rules so try to follow if you cannot follow these rules then uh you need to do something something else lah. okay so let's look at uh quiz 7a <coughs> Uh, 
Okay, reduce the block diagram in figure 372 to obtain GS, CS over RS. Okay, so firstly, we need to look for series connection. So here there is no uh, cascade or series connection. Then we need to look for parallel connection. So here there is a parallel connection um, here. Okay. So for parallel, you need to look for uh, the peak of point here. And then it split into two. And then it meet it will meet back at the same summing junction. So it splits from um the same peak off point and then meet again at the same summing junction so if you have this kind of characteristics then it is parallel okay so h1 and h2 are parallel so <clears throat> so step one Okay, so these two are parallel. <coughs> so you can uh, simplify them by adding them together, okay? So maybe you can write uh, uh, redraw again, okay, redraw. Okay. So after that, you need to uh, repeat the process again <coughs> and check for cascade, no cascade, <coughs> and then no parallel, uh, no feedback. So you need to do uh, uh, some shifting, okay? <coughs> So there is no uh, pick off point in the in the middle, so you don't have to shift pick off point and some injunction. So there is some injunction here, so you can shift uh, the some injunction. Basically, uh, basically you can combine this some injunction together.
Okay. <clears throat> so when you combine the summary junction, then uh, it is actually uh, one summary junction only. Okay. So from here, you repeat the process. So uh, no cascade, uh, but you have a parallel here. So this so, parallel. Yeah. Two tu bukan. Sorry, sorry. Tak dengar, tak dengar. Yang H1 plus H2. Hmm. Bukan H2 minus H1 ke? Ah, uh, uh, betul. Okay, thank you. Tak nampak. H1 minus H2, okay. Okay, so be careful with the sign, okay. Saya tak nampak, saya ingat positif. Okay, so after that, uh, these two are parallel, G1 dengan garisan ni. And then these two are in feedback, okay. So, ni parallel. Ni feedback. So, uh, try simplify again. <clears throat> so, for the parallel part, it's G1 plus this signal here. So, when you see only line, line there, so the signal is equals to 1, okay? The transformation is 1. So you get G1 plus 1. And then the feedback, you get G2 divided by 1 plus. So because this is minus, so you plus, okay? Plus G2 times H1 minus H2. Okay, so after this, you will see that these two are in cascade, okay? So these two cascade. So you can simplify the transformation now. So CS over RS equals G1 plus 1, G2 over 1 plus G2 H1 minus H2. Okay. So if you have uh, the first here parallel and you simplify correctly, so you get uh, two marks here. So this one, you combine the sum injunction, you get one mark. So feedback and parallel here, you get four marks here. So two marks each, okay? So two marks for feedback, two marks for parallel, okay? Berapa dah maka? Uh, tujuh. Uh, so final transformation, cascade here, one mark. Yang ni dua maka, okay? Saya nak tanya. Ya, yeah, boleh. Yang atas sekali parallel tadi kan? Mm -hmm. Kita bila gabungkan dia positif kan? Tapi dia masuk jadi negatif signal yang dekat atas tu. Mm -hmm. Negatifkan ke whole equation tu untuk? Oh like yang H1 tu eh? Okay so um, uh, Tak payah sebab uh, yang negatif ni dia Okay, so masa tambah ni dia akan jadi uh, H1 plus, uh, minus H2 Tambahkan dua ni So basically uh, nanti Sambil junction ni hilang lah So tak perlu uh, Tak perlu tukar ni, okay Unless if you change this from minus to positive Then all this becomes 
minus okay sebab ni remains ah uh, jadi remains jadi still jadi negatif so you tak perlu tukar apa-apa just ah uh, just uh, h1 minus h2 here ah, faham tak uh, um, okey okey So ya tukar dalam slide tu dia lain sikit sebab uh, rasa ni yang ni kot. Rasa ni yang ni kot. So apa yang berlaku kat sini is sepatutnya uh, uh, minus h1 plus h2 minus h3 but dekat sini dia Uh, letak uh, negatif kat sini so dia letak negatif kat sini so dia uh, factorize negatif lah okay basically so you get uh, h1 minus h2 plus h3 but here h1 uh, minus h2 kalau you buat minus h1 plus h2 then here akan jadi positif okay Okay, so ini adalah untuk question 7A. Okay, kita tengok question 7B pula. So, simplify the block diagram below to find the trans function CS over RS. So, clue move some junction in front of h2 so basically uh, move this some junction here so dalam rules yang uh, that i've i've taught you uh, we need to move some junction to the left okay so usually the some junction uh, for example from here you move to the left here meaning that you move opposite the direction of the signals but for this time uh, this uh, some injunction here you move to the left but in the direction of the signal so when you have uh, moving in direction of the signal you uh, multiply instead of divide okay so uh, okay so let's look at how to uh, simplify this so Firstly, you need to look for any cascade and parallel. <coughs> so G2 and G3 here are in a parallel. So, um, parallel G2, G3. So you get So I'm gonna draw a simplify uh, diagram only, okay? Uh, tak larat nak lukis semua, macam banyak sangat. Okay, so G1 G2 plus G3 Okay And then after that, G1 and G2 plus G3 are in cascade, okay? So you get G1 times G2 plus G3. Okay, so after that, if you look at the question, then you don't have any cascade parallel feedback. So you need to shift uh, the pick-off point 
or the sum injunction. So the only pick off point that you have is at the end here. Okay, so here only pick off point that you have. So you cannot shift this pick off point because what what you are going to do is if you move this pick off point, then you can lump uh long part this uh jump over this sum injunction so you cannot shift a pick off point or sum injunction over another pick off point or sum injunction so you can move over a block only okay so uh you cannot shift the sum injunction uh, pick off point now you need to look for uh shifting the sum injunction so the only sum injunction that you can shift is uh this one here okay so step number three shift uh some injunction to the left So you are shifting the sum injunction uh, in the direction of the signal. So G4, you must multiply with H2. Okay, now uh, we repeat the process. So these two are in cascade. And then you can combine this uh, to some injunction together. Okay, so let's uh, simplify this first. So let's combine the sum injunction. Okay, so the question now is what uh, symbol to be put here? So if you look at this time injunction, first uh, it comes as negative, and then after that uh, it, uh, it comes as another negative here. So uh, when you combine the sum injunction, then you need to consider uh, the signal uh, is converted to negative and then uh, either negative or positive. So here, the other dual kali negative, so it becomes uh, positive here. 
if you put negative here then everything will become negative for uh, g4 h2 and h1 h2 okay sebab negative ni uh, memberi kesan of the memberi uh, uh, the sign okay the sign for h1 h2 and g4 h2 so if you uh, remove this negative then you put positive here at the uh, new summing junction here okay now uh, you can repeat the process and check for uh, cascade no cascade parallel there is one parallel here so these two are parallel the signal here with g4 h2 and then feedback so you have feedback here Okay, so let's simplify these two. So before you simplify the feedback, you need to check for the symbol. So this is positive. So you have to put minus here, okay? So one minus G1, H1, H2, G2 plus G3. Okay, now you can simplify these two by using cascade. Okay, so the final transfer function. Okay, so that's the answer, final answer. Okay, so markah dia. So, ni satu markah. Ni satu markah. So, you shift the summing junction. And then, you simplify correctly. With correct sign here. So, shift summing junction, one mark. Simplify correctly, another one mark and correct uh, uh, symbol here you get another one mark Kedua, lima. and then uh, simplify parallel and feedback you get another two marks here lima, tujuh. Eh, tujuh baru. and then uh, cascade one mark lapan Final answer dua maka, okay. Okay, so any question for this uh, question? Okay, so uh, if you have no question, then uh, let's discuss quiz 7C. Okay, so question 7C, simplify the block diagram. Simplify the block diagram below to find the trans function y over x. Okay, so I give you a link so that you can uh, check how to simplify uh, this kind of problems when 
you cannot shift any uh, pick off point. Hmm, ada orang nak tanya. Uh, boleh tak saya terangkan balik yang poin dekat nombor 4 soalan 7B tu? Hmm, ada orang kentut. Eh mana ni? Tak keluar. Ya, ah, dah hilang. Ya, yeah, ah, dengar. Uh, Uh, boleh tak saya terangkan balik semula dekat poin nombor empat tu? Okay, so hmm. what happened here? So kita shift pick off uh, Sami Junction ni uh, to the left, okay? Sami Junction ni kita move to the left. So when you move to the left, then G4 times H2 and H2 ni tertinggal kat belakang lah, okay? Sami Junction ni dah ke depan. Okay, tu faham kan? Okay, after that, um, you need to look for the uh, the symbol or the sign here. Okay, the sign here, uh, first dia masuk negatif. And then after after negatif ni, dia masuk balik another Sami Junction as another negative. So, dia dua kali negatif, okay? Meaning that, dia akan jadi, bila dia masuk sini, katakan katakanlah G4 H2 H2 H1 ni in parallel so apa yang berlaku akan jadi uh, G4 H2 minus H1 H2 kalau dia parallel okey kalau nak hilangkan summing junction ni kalau dia orang ni parallel so dia jadi minus G4 H2 minus H1 H2 lepas tu dia masuk balik another Uh, sum injunction with negative signal here so dia akan jadi uh, positif balik lah G4 H2 plus H1 H2 so kalau uh, kat sini uh, kalau kita nak simplify kan this sum injunction here if you want to put positive then you cannot put negative symbol here But if you want to put negative, you kena letak negative symbol kat sini, okay? Sebab sum injunction ni, dia memang negative. So, dia jadikan dua ni negative dulu, baru jadi uh, positif kat sini. Uh, tak tahu faham tak? Okay, so uh, um, sama juga macam uh, dalam uh, example So kat sini dia letak negatif So dia keluarkan semua uh, dia factoriskan all negatif So H1 sepatutnya minus You tulis positif H1 here Then, jadilah H1 minus H2. So, H2 ni sebenarnya positif. But, since you put negative here, so dia jadi negatif H2 lah kat sini. So, sama macam ni juga. Okay, kalau uh, tak faham, buat-buat uh, faham. <laughs> okay, uh, kita tengok uh, soalan tujuh si. Okay, saya cuba explain tapi saya tak tahu macam nak bagi faham, susah. Tapi uh, kalau tak faham, uh, kita uh, PM tepi. Eh. Okay, so for question C, uh, the clue is given here. So kita tengok website dia. Okay, so So 
So the clue, uh, if you look at the uh, step 11 here, the rules 11 here, then that's the uh, the same thing as uh, moving this pick off point uh, in front of summing junction. Okay. Okay. So apa benda yang berlaku ni? Okay, so yang ni simbol Y ni sebenarnya uh, X, okay? Dia salah. Ni X. So, uh, let's uh, let's do this. Okay, so uh, to simplify this, uh, you need to use the uh, rules 11 given. So apa yang berlaku ialah, uh, katakan uh, sini X. So X yang masuk, dia akan, uh, basically dia akan pecah jadi uh, C dan B, okay. So yang masuk ialah X dan D, okay. So X masuk dan D pun masuk dekat summing junction. And then it will split into C or B, okay? So basically kalau uh, kalau zaman dulu masa saya belajar dulu uh, kita orang belajar uh, tak ada rules yang macam korang belajar ni, okay? Kita orang belajar uh, derive uh, satu persatu, okay? So apa yang berlaku ialah basically X plus D dia boleh jadi B atau X plus D dia berjali C. Okay, dia ada dua. So bila kita nak simplify kan uh, dia punya uh, block diagram tu. Okay, so the first uh, arrangement is X plus D sama dengan B. Oh, sorry, minus sila eh. Okay, so X minus D dapat B. Another one is X minus D dapat C. Okay, so dia jadi dua kat sini. Okay, so uh, bila dah split ni, then you can uh, check for cascade, parallel and feedback, okay. So uh, dekat sini, Uh, tak ada uh, parallel feedback 
and cascade so you need to shift uh, pick off point or shift the summing junction so the summing junction that you can shift is this so shift this to this side okay so you get So E divided by C. Okay, then uh, you need to check for, uh, you need to repeat the process. So, cascade, no cascade, parallel, so these two are parallel. And feedback, these two are feedback. Okay, so let's simplify. Okay. Okay, then uh, these two will become a uh, cascade.
And then from here, you need to check for uh, repeat the process, check for cascade, no cascade, no parallel, no feedback. Then you need to shift uh, pick off point. So you shift this pick off point to this side, okay? Okay, so I will repeat the process, then check for cascade, no cascade, and parallel. So here, you have parallel here, so it splits from the same peak of point, and then meet again at the same summing junction. So these two are in parallel. Okay, so from here, you get these two cascade. And the whole thing is in feedback. Okay, so simplify. So this is minus, so you have to plus. Okay, kalau rajin simplify kan?
Okay. So untuk soalan ni. So if you can uh, follow the rules from the website, you get two marks here. Shift the sum in junction, one mark. Parallel plus feedback, two marks here. Dah lima dah. Cascade. So shift pick off point. Parallel. Then feedback cascade, okay. So dua, empat, tujuh, sepuluh, cukup lah. Okay, so any question before we end our lecture? Okay, so for uh, reduction block diagram, um, I want you to, uh, so we have discussed until I think until exercise, uh, I think example three. So if you have time, uh, study for the exercise given. I think exercise one we discussed already. So try uh, understand exercise two, three, and four. Okay, selalunya uh, soalan dia uh, yang macam tujuh A ni, okay? Soalan untuk test. Uh, kalau complicated pun maybe uh, sampai macam 7B okay maybe kena shift uh, pick off point to the left and summit junction to the right okay uh, bukan um, lebih kurang macam tu lah meaning that uh, tak follow the rules of thumb tapi selalunya soalan uh, akan uh, macam 7A je something simple je okay something like your exercise and example. So try to understand the exercise and example in the slide, okay? Okay, so that's it for uh, to this lecture and for lecture 3A. So this Wednesday, we are going to uh, learn chapter 3, 3C, okay? 3, 3B and C, uh, we skip, so we are going to learn chapter 3, 3D kot. Ah, Mana-mana lah. Okay, so we are going uh, to learn new topic. So this topic will be, this new topic will be about uh, the system stability. So uh, uh, starting on the next topic, you will learn on how to analyze the control system to determine the system stability. Uh, yang ni baru the main focus of control, uh, subject automatic control. Yang awal-awal ni uh, mostly about uh, derivation, about uh, reducing block diagram, about uh, some basic control system. The lecture after this will be more about uh, stability analysis. Uh, yang macam uh, pening sikit lah, okay? Banyak, banyak, banyak teori, banyak uh, concept yang kena fahamkan. So before we are, we go to the next lecture, I want you to uh, understand uh, until chapter 3, okay? Sebab uh, yang topik yang ni uh, until chapter 3A sebab topik-topik yang until chapter 3A ni kalau tak faham, topik yang after this uh, memang ketinggalan lah, okay? Tertinggal bas, okay? So if you have no question, uh, we end our class for today and you can ask me uh, any question through WhatsApp regarding your project or uh, any question related to uh, this subject, okay? So uh, that's it for today. Uh, Assalamualaikum and goodbye. 
Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thanks. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, sir. Welcome.